Welcome in everybody to the KC Sports Report. I'm your host, Michael Darcy, and today I'm joined by Michael Hebner, and we're going to break down the Week 14 matchup between the New England Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs Kingdom, what a win. The Chiefs just beat the Patriots in Foxborough by a final score of 23-16, to and Chiefs Kingdom, I could not be happier. This was the game that the Chiefs needed, and to be quite honest, the Patriots needed it even more, but... I just would like to say, first off, how well did this defense perform? They were electric. They were able to sack Brady more than three times. And the secondary, even though they got drilled with a couple pass interference calls, they were solid for the most part. So I'm smiling from ear to ear because I've taken so much stuff from Patriots fans recently, and I've just kept quiet. I've just basically been waiting and waiting for this game so the Chiefs could prove all those haters wrong. There is so much to get out of this game but what did you take from this game uh just from a first look well it wasn't pretty i will say that the first half was great i thought the first half went well i thought you know this is the team that everyone has really built the hype up for solid defense solid offense i mean the offense wasn't even that great in the first quarter but you know they still played fairly well and then everything kind of i think fell apart at least for the offense in the second half uh, but they weren't as dynamic. Mahomes just couldn't get first downs, and I, and out of all honesty, it was a lucky win because there were several calls that should have been made, but the Patriots couldn't overturn them because they didn't have uh, a red or a challenge flag, um, and it wasn't reviewable by the league. Like you know, they couldn't stop the game and be like, you know, this play is under review because um, it wasn't a scoring play, it wasn't a turnover, so it's not something the league can stop. So. But you know what? I don't care. You know how many penalties have gone against the Chiefs? You know how many times that the Patriots have benefited from a penalty that went their way? So guess what? That's just football. We all know the it NFL is. is not right. great when it comes to officiating. That's just part of the game. And I don't think that we are giving this defense enough credit. I mean, Tom Brady, when he gets the ball with like four minutes left, is damn near unstoppable. And the way that they were able to take him out of that game, it, it's incredible. Well, I mean, to be fair, when it when you win by like a play or two, to me that just means you can beat a good team, but it's like a 50-50 chance. I want a team that can blow someone like the Patriots out of the water. I want a team that can win by two or three touchdowns and not, oh, well, you know, there was this one play that happened, and if that play went in favor of the other team, they would have lost. I want a team that can win for sure without someone making an excuse like that. But See, I think that defense, Bell, or I think that Reed and uh, Spagnolo are holding something back because I think that they know – they're going to meet again, and most likely if the Patriots win next week, which I think that they will because they're in Foxborough, I mean, the Chiefs are going to have to travel to Foxborough again. So it was smart for them not to play all their cards, but one of the things that I saw is that this Patriots offense is not good, and I think that the Chiefs pretty much let them back in this game. And if this Chiefs offense was just a little bit better, they would have won by 14 points, and I predicted they would win by 14 points. But I think that... This is a learning experience. This was a huge win. I don't care what anybody says. Beating the Patriots in Foxborough in December is impossible. And the Chiefs just did it. And I think that this gives confidence to this Chiefs team. Because I don't think that teams are scared to go into Foxborough anymore and win. And this is putting a lot of pressure on the Patriots. Because if they don't win next week, the Chiefs get the two seed. So the Chiefs had everything to gain and the well, Patriots had the, everything to lose. Chiefs. With the win from the Chiefs. The Chiefs still have to win in order for them to get the two seed. True. But, but I, I'm very yeah, confident yeah, in this team going forward. That would be, yeah. Um, yeah, but I mean, it, it was a great win. Uh, the defense, I think, showed that they're for real. I mean, obviously, they had a few hiccups, and penalties were outrageous. Like, I, I don't, I remember looking up when they put up the penalty comparison. Like, we had 100-something yards of penalties which is not acceptable. Like last week, we only had zero, and we won that game because we played disciplined football. I felt the secondary got a little desperate at times and, you know, decided to hold on for dear life, and, you know, that results in penalties. So I think um, they need to clean it up, especially when they play good teams like that. And um, the offense, like you said, that that's my biggest concern right now. I never thought I'd be saying this, but the offense is the biggest weakness right now with the Chiefs yeah when it gets uh, down into those last few minutes of the game they can't get first downs and it seemed like in the entire second half they struggled getting those first downs but I mean like you said in the first half I mean they were on fire Miko Hardman caught like a 40 plus yard uh 
touchdown pass from Mahomes. Tyree Kill was catching passes out of the backfield and getting huge chunks of yardage, and Kelsey was on fire. But after the second half started, it was just a completely different story. And I think that this Chiefs team just needs to keep their foot on the gas pedal because the Patriots are a kind of team that is going to eventually shut down an offense. And luckily, the Chiefs were able to get them early, but when they see him again, it's going to be different. So this Chiefs team needs to get better on offense if they want to beat them in January. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest issue was, um, I think in the second half they came out more conservative, which I think is what something we've seen the last couple of uh, games is when they have a huge lead, they stop playing You know, the aggressive, let's throw the ball 20 yards down the field, let's just run it on the first play and pick up a yard or two, which then makes it an issue when on second down you decide to throw it, your receiver drops it. So, you know, there's there's obviously questions within how they start uh, managing and handling the game. But uh, one like one thing that I'm kind of frustrated with is that people like Sammy Watkins not making plays he normally makes. Or Sammy uh, Watkins hasn't had a catch in like three or four weeks. I know, and this game he had, he was targeted a lot, and he he came through with some big plays, but plenty of those times, you know, he dropped passes he normally makes, or he, um, you know, didn't give what at least I thought to be a 100% effort like I would expect to see from a player. He got into um, a fight with uh, Stephon Gilmore over on the sidelines. So yeah, was there was frustration that. from both teams, but I mean, we're going to dog on this offense, but at the end of the day, this Chiefs team did something that not a lot of other teams can do. And I don't even think this Chiefs team played their best game. So take either. that into account. If this Chiefs team was just a little bit better we would be laughing at how the Patriots got blown out at home. And I think that the Chiefs are going to get better and the Patriots are going to get better, but the better team won this game. And I don't care what anybody says. Everybody's gotten on the Chiefs in the past for not having a defense. Well, this is a more balanced team. And I think that this defense is starting to pull their weight. And if that happens, come playoff time, nobody's going to be able to beat them. Yeah, I will say that on the defensive side, I think we've peaked out for this year i don't think we'll get much better i mean like we'll see some more improvement but i don't think it'll be anything to make us go wow but it's over the next two or three years i really think that this is going to become with you know a few additions here and there um this is going to become a solid unit especially too if our offense can get back to what it once was like last year um so i i will say though on the running side of the football. I mean, without Damian Williams and without Daryl Williams, I was interested to see how the running game would work because I I felt that they would have done a decent job at least uh, versus the Patriots. But um, between Thompson, uh, Ware, and uh, McCoy, I thought it was pretty good. Um, Ware, I know he hasn't played much and he only had a couple uh, carries and receptions but he still looked pretty good i mean he joined the team like three days ago so we got to give him some slack but and what i do like about him is he's a power back and we just haven't had that this season i mean hardman sure can add you know a little extra effort and he's really slippery i mean we saw it when he uh caught the football and ran i think it was like 20 30 yards or something like that that might be more than it was but it was a big run and he or it was a reception it was a screen pass and you know he ran quite a few um yards but where brought sort of a physicality in the run game that, that I just feel like we've lacked this season. And you could see it when we got into the red zone. I mean, we had to kick field goals because we couldn't punch it in for a touchdown because we lack a running game. Yeah, that's a problem. A Th- this Chiefs team has to get better at converting in the red zone because the Chiefs should have probably won this game by two or three possessions. And it came down to the wire, and thank goodness this defense is better. But, I mean, that's unacceptable. Mahomes was on the sideline trying to get his guys pumped up but it just didn't work and I think that it's going to change I think I still think that they're holding something back I don't know if this offense is unleashing everything I think they're trying to save and reserve some of those plays for the playoffs because with this win the Chiefs just secured their fourth straight AFC West title because the Raiders lost at home to the Tennessee Titans which the Titans look like a really good team right now but Four straight AFC titles, baby, that's great. And I think that this Chiefs team led by Patrick Mahomes is going to dominate this division for the next five to ten years. But I I cannot take away from how big this win was. This changes the playoff structure completely. 
This changes how the Chiefs go into the playoffs. This changes how the Patriots play out their season. This was a massive win, and even though it wasn't pretty, the Chiefs were still able to get the job done. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll finish out with saying that for, from the offensive perspective, if we want to get to the Super Bowl and if we want to win, we need to figure out the offensive line situation because that is the only reason our offense is really struggling right now. Yeah, the offensive, the offensive line was bad today. Because I think our I think our running game too is greatly impacted by the lack of ability to create holes or um, set the edge against the defenders and you know allow our running backs to get outside because they have to run it down the middle and it just doesn't work with some of them. I mean Thompson, I thought had a fairly decent game. I'm still not confident enough about him to make him a starter, but the way they played him today, I thought was great. Give him some reps, get him in, but don't give him too much of a uh, impact on the. Uh, game in the sense of like not playing him too much just yeah because because this was a huge game and yeah and it, it what's I, funny is this game came down to a lot of things there were a lot of penalties on both sides that didn't mm-hmm. get called there were a lot of turnovers i mean the, the chiefs gave the patriots a short field a lot of the time and i think that if the chiefs play the patriots again if they just eliminate those short field possessions and the, penalties. and the penalties, there's no way the Patriots win. So, exactly. Chiefs Kingdom, the Chiefs beat the Patriots by a final score of 23-16 to in Foxborough. And Patriots fans, I hope you enjoy this win just like I am. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys like these videos and want to support me, go click the link in the description and go support me on my Patreon. I would more than appreciate it. Thank you to Michael Hepner for joining me in this episode. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the KC Sports Report by Michael Darcy.